today we're going to do Jocelyn's No So Shawl. Join us. So notice I have a twin here. We're going to show you a shawl. We're calling it Jocelyn's Shawl because Jocelyn sent it to us and it's a great shawl and there's no sewing. You can sew, but if you pick out different kinds of fabrics, I'm going to do it three times. I'm going to show you different fabrics and some different variations. This is so fun and I'll, I'll tell you why for me because, you know, I travel or I'm on the go or whatever and my favorite uniform is my black yoga pants and my black sweater set. <laughs> And then, but I'm freezing on the airplanes when I do that, but I hate to have another layer because it's so bulky. So this is perfect, like, to just put on top, and it keeps my shoulders warm, and in a restaurant, and yada, yada, yada. So this is a little shawl. It is great for gifts, for the holidays. I mean, I just love it. I just love it. So I hope you enjoy it. And like I said, I'm going to show you several variations. Okay, so I used three different fabrics. The first fabric, this lace... And, I mean, obviously these are all on our site, but this is a very cool lace. It's a lace panel. And how it's joined from yard to yard is it's got this like little section in between. And when you cut it out, you can cut around this. And what it does is it creates this beautiful scalloped edge. And you don't have to cut like really closely or anything. You just... You can see that that's what I did with this one is I left this, I took the length of it and I did the scalloped edge. And it's actually scalloped on both edges. So this panel is one, I think it's one and a half yards. Yeah, it's like one and a half yards. So I took the whole width. And the cool thing is when you're cutting in between the edges, like I, you know, you're going to scallop the edges on that end, scallop the edges on that end. You can cut anywhere you want to in between. It's netting. So you can cut kind of around the little flowers, but keep in mind, really none of that will show. And it's not necessary to be finished, but you could come in here and like cut up to the little flowers and you could kind of scallop along the way as you went too. Or you could not. It doesn't, doesn't really matter, but it's really, really cute either way. All right, so I've taken the length. It's a yard and a half, and different ones are going to be different lengths. I'm going to show you that. This one's one and a half. You notice it's a little shorter. The one I have on is a little bit longer, and I did that because it's a little bulkier fabric, and so I felt like it needed a little more length to offset the bulk. But this one is light and lacy and pretty, and so on this end, I'm going to kind of take it undone so you see. On this end, I left it to be 23 inches wide. So I bought one yard, or one, well, it's one panel. And then my 23 inches yard, and then I literally just started cutting. <laughs> this takes about 30 seconds to make, to the other side. I scalloped both edges. So again, I'm an inch and a half long, 23, and the 23 is going to go to, you can see this end, which I just did like a little maybe three inches wide. I just did one little sculpt is what I did. So all you're going to do is cut in between the two scalloped edges. Just cut, cut, cut however you want. And when I look at that edge, I can see that there's a scallop there. And so that's where I'm cutting to. And that I can create another one out of that one. Out of this one, you could probably create two, at least two. So that's this end. And it's the bigger end. So I've got my little end down there. I've got my bigger end down here. And then what you do is you're going to make six cuts. And they're going to be about four inches from the edge. And just space them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the reason you are is because you're going to come in and you're going to go in these six with the small end. So when you put it on, the big end, wrap the big end around you. And you're going to go in. And you don't have to finish off these cuts because it's netting. And all the fabrics I'm using, none of them ravel. You don't have any issues with that. So you go in and out. You're going to have an even amount. In and out. And you just kind of gather it up as you're going. 
and you're kind of futzing it all around and kind of moving it where you want it. And then the last one you go in and out. And then as you come out the bottom side, you're going to kind of fix that bottom one there. And that's how it sits. And then you can just adjust it through the shoulders. Is that just the coolest thing ever? I mean, it's just so cool. So it's just cut on a triangle. It's a big triangle. The widest part being here, I'll, I'm going to do this one here. I'm going to show it to you. But I've got another fabric. The widest part is here. This particular one I made 23, 24 inches wide. Cut it down to a triangle. Six cuts at the bigger end, about four inches in. Just six cuts. Space them throughout. Go in and out, in and out, in and out. And then, of course, the out part hangs it there. This will all scrunch up. Okay, then I did this one. I love, love, love this one. I'll show you the differences that I did with this one. This is a silk pontaroma. And I, it's like, where do you find the silk pontaroma? It's Italian. So I cut this um, 30 inches wide. I actually had to cut two yards of this fabric because I wanted it the size I wanted it. I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. So this is like two yards long. But what I did down here is I narrowed it because I wanted kind of a little, I wanted this part that's sticking out to stick out. So I'm going to take this off. I think you understand that one. I'm going to explain this one. And this one's just a fabric. I like both sides. It's a beautiful knit. Um, it's a pont it's about a, the weight of a pontaroma, but it's a silk. <laughs> but like I said, it's really, really beautiful. So I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to put this part, the, the, where the slits are, goes on that side. This side gets wrapped around. And then I go in, whoops, sorry, start on the right side and go in and out because you've got six. You've got to even them out. So you've got to start going in so you'll come out at the bottom. You're going to do the same thing in and out. I missed one. Sorry. Got to have six or you're going to end up on the wrong side. So start on the outside, in and out. Okay, this part's going to go around your shoulders. And this is the part you can adjust. And the reason I wanted it longer, I'll show you here in a minute, is because I really wanted it to, to just cover more of my shoulders. All right, and then in and out. And again, this, it, what it does is this whole part here is going to kind of scrunch up. This is going to get wrapped around your shoulders. And then I'm going to do one more because I, I don't have to do all of them actually, but I'm going to go in and out. I want the last one to be out because as I pull this up and around, you can see it kind of groups into groups of three. It has really beautiful um, drapings this way. So you can see how there's kind of like drapings that go away this way. And where those drapings are coming from is these slats over here where they're cut like that. And then you can see this long piece is just going to hang down. I just love that. It's so simple. It's so pretty. Take a piece of fabric you love. And I love this, so I started with this one. I did this one first and I haven't taken it off. But anyway, so you can see the different effects you can get. I didn't finish the edges at all, but there is this thing called this, um, it's an edge cutter, and you can use that on your rotary, it's a wave blade is what it's called, and you can put that on your rotary cutter, and it's pretty cool, it almost looks like you tore the edges, but it's a knit and you can't tear knit edges. So it's very pretty, it's very pretty. So that's just a fun thing to do. But you all know there's lots of different combinations that you could use on, as far as kind of fabrics, but in all cases, you want your fabric to not have to need any finishes. I mean, unless you want to sew this, I'm looking for something that's a no sew. All right, so this last one, I absolutely love this fabric. And this fabric to me is perfect because what I want to do is just literally wrap up in it and um, sit on the couch. <laughs> and so because it's that kind of fabric, this was perfect. So I did cut two yards of this, and the reason I did is because I wanted the selvage, if you notice I have it on, I wanted the selvage all the way around at the bottom. So this whole entire length is what I used. All right, and then what I did, the widest part here, 
is I used it to be 24 inches. And again, that can be different. And then you can see here, it's just literally down to nothing. So I start at 24 and literally just cut to nothing at the side. It's helpful to have a big table. And I mean, I guess you could fold it, you could do whatever, but there's nothing magic. If I'm going too wide, I can cut over and make it thinner. And so these are Chris, these are holiday, I said Christmas, because I'm thinking of Christmas, but they're holiday gifts. They're Thanksgiving gifts. They're all kinds of wonderful little gifts because that's what they are. When I get to this point, I can curve it a little bit. I can round it out. I can make it narrower and then go wider. Gosh, there's so many fun things I can do with this. All right, so keep in mind that I've got this long edge here. This is where I'm going to cut the six holes. So I come in about four inches and just even space. Three, four, five, six. Bam, I've got it. Remember that this side, let's take this one off. This side is going to stay over here. The widest part is going to stay over here. This is going to wrap around. And then it's going to start on the top because you want it to come out of the bottom. So it's going to go in and out. And you can adjust that to how much you want it or how tight you want it around your shoulders. And then what it's going to do by doing these additional cuts down here, I mean, there's so many things you could do. You could leave it like that. It's adorable. But see, what this is doing is it's kind of giving it a little gathered effect and giving these kind of these swags over to the other side. So then I'm going to go in and go up again. And so you can see I can push this all up, and that is the portion that's hanging down. So now we really are twins, even though my head's bigger than hers. I love it. All right, and I normally say happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns, but how about happy cutting and wrapping from Silhouette Patterns? <laughs> Thanks for joining us, and I hope you have fun. There's so many variations. There's so many different things you can do. Take advantage of it. Be creative. Find some great fabric. Go for it. Later.